Hello everybody, back here again for another vlog a day, and today is Wednesday the 3rd, and today was a beautiful day to be alive, but wretched day for weather, so it was absolutely just um, chilly, cold, rainy, sprinkling, just gross, like all day long, absolutely it's just ridiculous. It misted or rained or drizzled virtually some point all day long it was just it was just that cro gross cold nasty kind of junk so i went ahead got this morning had the dogs uh, got them all fed get them outside get them all taken care of all that fun stuff that comes along with having a bunch of dogs in the house that aren't yours i'm actually down to just two dogs now plus bruce and so it's not so bad um i went ahead they got along fine there was no issue at all they're doing great um got that taken care of loaded the car the rest of excuse me, the rest of the way up, got it all, I had it loaded up last night, during the rain last night, waiting for them to pick up Soda, who showed up uh, basically about an hour later than they were supposed to, and gave me four minutes notice from when they are supposed to pick them up, going, oh, I'm an hour out. I'm like, how the f do you not know that you're an hour out, four minutes before you're supposed to be there? So, again, the whole thing, it happens what it is. So, went ahead and said heck with that, um, got that taken care of though, so that I got out of there. Karen went off to work. I took off, actually headed out before she did. She took, let the dogs out one last time. And then I headed off to go do my vending route. I uh, had to run by Sam's Club, pick up my order, which if you guys ever get a Sam's Club membership, get a business account, get a tax ID number, make up a fake business if you have to, if you don't have a business and get that because you get in there at 7 a.m. instead of 10 a.m. with the rest of the meandering morons to get in there. And you can also pre-order your stuff. It's free. You pull up there, it's on a cart. You basically scan your card in, you go pay for it, and you get the hell out of there. The only bad side is, there's twice they've kind of screwed me with um, picking the wrong item, but it's right in their computer. That's the part that's even more screwed up, is they didn't change it in their computer. So I went ahead and popped that one off this time and got it basically just removed from my order. I've got one that I paid like seven bucks for something I can't use, I can't sell, but it is what it is. So I got out of there, got to my first location, uh, got it filled up, got it checked on. Um, Everything went well there. I got that was the one that I had just replaced the three in one on the compressor and stuff, and realized the fan I've got in there, the bracket needs to be shimmed up a little bit because when it shuts off the fan, when it's full speed, it runs fine. When it shuts off, it kind of pulls back a little bit and it touches against a guard. So I got to get the new shims and put in there, which is not a big deal. Um, like I said, when it's running, it has enough that it pulls the blades out, so there's no issue there. But I got that taken care of. Went to my second one there in Deland. Got it taken care of. Got it filled up. And all this time it's raining. Don't forget, guys. I'm in and out of the car in the rain, just getting drizzled on and just grossness. Got in there. Got it filled up. Headed on down to Orlando. Um, got those two spots taken care of. Went over to the house on um, Sadell Street that we're in the process of trying to sell still. Tried to get it yet, and the lock has jammed up. The key won't work. I don't know if somebody put glue in it or what. Who the hell knows? There's something wrong with the lock. It will not turn. And that's the only lock that we have in the house that works. So. I end up with the gentleman who's wanting to buy the house. He was there. Luckily, he had um, some tools with him and stuff. He was able to break into the house without really doing any real damage to anything, which was awesome. Kind of bent a screen up a little bit. It's the only thing really happened. But overall, um, surprisingly much better than I thought it was going to be. Got the house um, basically figured out. Popped the door in the front. He's going to go pop a new lock in it. He lives right across the road. So he's able to kind of watch the house too, which helps. Um, we're going to go ahead. He's going to throw a new lock in it. It's like $10 for a new deadbolt. He'll have a key. He has to show a couple of investors. He wants to show the house too. And then I got out of there. Finally, it was there way too long dealing with that crap. Um, took longer than it should have. Went ahead, um, headed on home. Ended up getting back to the house. Got the car fully unloaded and stuff. Got the dogs played with first, obviously. Got them taken care of. They did great in the house. I left them all out. Um, seeing how they do. And they did wonderful. Three dogs did great. No issues. Nothing tore up. No pee or poop anywhere, which is awesome. Now that soda's gone, soda been pissing around the house, which is just annoying as all get out. So got that all um, taken care of and all figured out. From there, um, I got I, the car fully loaded, everything put away. Got the um, running gear on, went out and ran in the drizzly rain, which is definitely never the fun thing. When it's this chilly and it's raining, it's, it's even worse. But it is what it is. So I got my run in. Um, didn't go real far. I was I did long yesterday, so I just did a short little run today, which was all it needed to be done. From there, um, Karen got home. We ended up having ourselves some dinner. Just chilled out, had some leftover rice, so I poured some soup, some chicken tortellini soup, I think it was. We cooked that up and then put it over top of the rice and had ourselves a wonderful little meal. Chilled out a little bit, just kind of was kind of lazy. Watched a little bit of Netflix and that. Um, got a couple other things done and then headed off to bed and called it a night. So definitely was a productive day. It just seemed like the rain just really takes a lot out of you. So 
That's all I got for right now. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe, wonderful day. Thanks for watching.